Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Oni with Thrifty Divas, and you're gonna hear another intro in just a second. However, hate to do it to you, but I ended up splitting this haul into two because it would have been over an hour long. I'm all for long hauls, but I'm crazy, but that was beyond crazy. So I'm gonna split this into two. I'm gonna break it right in the middle, and you're gonna be like, Bleh! however. To make up for it, I'm going to post them both on the same day. So you'll be able to move right on to part two if you wanted over an hour long haul. Totally up to you. So um, yeah, I didn't intend it when I started, but after I was finished, it's two parts. So there will be part one and part two posted directly after each other and together. So let's jump right into part one. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas. And I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul for everybody. It's pretty large, I think. I'm surrounded by stuff, but I have separated everything into category once again, and I am just going to get started. So I have like stuff from my son's party and I have everything. So I actually have bags empty down below me that I'm going to sort out everything again as I show them. That's what I do getting ready here okay all right so got my bags ready let's start with food as we usually do so I have two food items here I'm gonna use them as teaser items so we have the Utz ripple fried dill pickle potato chips as well as the spitz dill pickle sunflower seeds this is going to be for something coming up stay tuned I say no more that's all I'm saying okay moving on I picked up a bag of the wise ridges and I picked up a bag of the home style kettle cooked five ounces and four and three quarter ounces to go with those. I picked up two cans of the Homestyle Select French onion dip, which I absolutely love and it's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty terrible for you. Okay. Then I picked up a one can of the Ocean Spray Jellied Cranberry Sauce. It's an eight ounce can. Figured I would just have that for Thanksgiving. I don't know, okay. Then these were new and I actually saw Patty over at Patty's Chance Holes and more haul them and I was like, oh, I hope I find them and I did. So they have the Jack Lynx Jack Pack. And it comes with, my store only had one kind, which was the 100% beef, original beef stick bites, and then cheese, and then pretzels. So that's what it looks like. And these are good until December 25th, oh, Christmas, Christmas Day 2020. <clears throat> I picked up, they don't need to be refrigerated. I picked up three of these, and I just like having them because my husband can grab something when he's like, leaving for his you know from his break from work and all that and then this is the one that they have had for at least a year this is the trails best snacks to go this one is the beefsteak sunflower kernels and raisins and this is good until february 28th 2021 so i grab those and then We need a food bag. Food bag. Okay. Then I picked up four of these peanut butter sandwich breakfast thingies. My son loves these and nobody told me we were totally out. So I couldn't believe it. So I got another four boxes of those. And then I picked up a two of the Entenmann's hot chocolate K-cups just to have... They're quicker. They're quicker than boiling water. It's true. I know. Whatever. Okay. And they're intimates. Next, picked up a box of the Mrs. Freshly's oatmeal cream pies. 
and you get eight individually wrapped ones in here. Then they only had one left of this. The mango nectar little four packs. So I just grabbed that because my son loved those. Then Patty had sent me a box of these because I never saw them. And then my store just finally had them too. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get another box. This is the Jolly Rancher cereal, the family size. Guys, never give up. <laughs> That's why I say it all the time. Never give up when it comes to an item. There are items that I get five and six months later than other people. It's crazy. Some I never get at all, but a lot I get much, much later. And this is one of them. So I thought that was cool. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Then I got these. These Golden Farms Crispy Onions. It is a 2.8 ounce bag. I love these. Of course, green bean casserole, but also on salads. And um, I have posted a video before of my crispy onion chicken, where I just basically bread the chicken in crushed up crispy onions, and it's delicious. So I grabbed another bag of those. They've changed the packaging. It looks all fancy now. Okay. Then I got two boxes of the Funfetti Cupcake Mix, as well as two or three, I don't even know, of the Funfetti Frosting. Now, in case you're wondering, because I wasn't sure, but it is just vanilla frosting. Plain vanilla frosting inside, and then you get your sprinkles here, but there's no sprinkles in it already. Just saying. Just in case you need vanilla frosting and they don't have it, but they have this, it's vanilla frosting. And then let's check weight. 10 ounces and 10 ounces of the vanilla. So, all right, so I got that. And then, so this goes in party stuff. Cause I'm gonna make Funfetti cupcakes and I'm gonna do little chocolate dinosaur molds and put them on the Funfetti cupcakes for my son's party. And then he explained the cake that he wants to me and he wants chocolate cake with vanilla in between and vanilla on top and chocolate on frosting on top, a whole bunch of stuff, but anyway. Okay, so I got like two or three of the vanilla. I put most of them inside already. And then a couple of the chocolate. And I'm also going to be doing fondant and probably geode on that one. Just letting you know. Okay, so that's that. Then this was a new flavor to me, I'm pretty sure. This is crushed watermelon. Sugar-free. You get six drink packs so i got a couple of those because i thought maybe my mom would like it i don't know how this one is the pineapple was horrible but we'll see sounded good all right then i picked up another bag of these because i still haven't tasted them but everybody keeps saying how absolutely utterly amazing they are and how there's like a little tiny juicy gel center and all this stuff so i was like okay all right so I picked up another one pound bag of these fruit shoes. And that, I got these for my husband. He doesn't know it yet, but he's going to be so happy. They had these strawberry and cheese bear claw danishes on clearance for 25 cents. So I got him like seven, six or seven. I don't remember. But they were all 25 cents each. And... They're good for another three days. And you know they'll go longer than that. So, again, another really good thing for him to grab when he's leaving back to work from his break. Okay. And then, football. I got this Baker's Best six pack of frozen baked soft pretzels, as well as nacho cheese dip to go along with it so that's awesome that's one of my husband's favorites too and that is the end of food and drink but i only have one doggy edible item so i'm just gonna put that here found these by loving pets natural value 100 percent natural treats this is the puffed potato and chicken chip recipe. It's a two ounce bag and it is 100% made in the USA. Soy free, corn free, glycerin free. So thought that was cool for Hennessy. 
All right, and now let's move on to a little bit of uh, Crafters Square stuff. I got two washi tapes. One, I got this uh, gummy bear one. I just went blank on what they're called. I got this gummy bear one. And then I picked up this pink cat one for the cat giveaway. <laughs> just, I know it's taking forever, but trust me, it just keeps growing while we're waiting, so whatever. And then I got <clears throat> two silver metallic markers and two white metallic markers for my black post-its yes and a few of you asked me in the community tab what markers i use it's these these are them the metallic markers by crafters square they come in silver white gold rose gold and blue I have only tried white, silver, and gold on the black post-its. They work just fine. I'm also assuming the rose gold would work fine too. Probably the blue, not so much. But I got those. Then I got this because I couldn't remember if I had it. <laughs> and it is the farmhouse ribbon. And it's the black and white one. I've gotten way more into farmhouse stuff this past six months or so. So I don't know if I picked this up the first time I saw it last year. So I got one just to be sure, but it's so cute. And then I picked this up for a friend. This is the five yard, I'm sorry, five foot glitter ribbon from Floral Garden. This is the kind of on the black background. So I picked that up to send to a friend. And then I got my parents an anniversary card it was yesterday we were all together but uh, I forgot their card because there was actually a memorial mass at the cemetery chapel yesterday for my grandfather so that's that went on yesterday and whatever so I forgot their card but anyway um, I'll give it to them today I told them I kept saying I'm like I forgot your card they're like it's fine so I had it okay so that's it for crafters square floral garden type stuff and now we're gonna go down the electronics tool bench type aisle um they had the, i get excited every time i see dual part epoxy i don't know why but i do so i picked up this by the original super glue and it is epoxy and it says good on metal glass and much more and it is clear so for a dollar that's really good and then I got two phone cases. I got this dark one. This is so cool. I love this. And it's really chunky, rough glitter. And like little tiny tube confetti and whatnot. And then, of course, you know, I had to get this one as well. Now, what I want to do um, is keep a lookout for the new line uh, of accessories <laughs> and the funny thing is patty showed them to me and i'm like no but now i want it but whatever whatever the ones that are accented with gold they have like pink and a burgundy wine color and they have the wristlet strap and the card pocket and a whole bunch of other stuff but anyway i want to get the wristlet strap with the bling on it in like the burgundy probably and i want to e6000 it to this case because I thought the burgundy would look nice with the cheetah. So I just grabbed those two. And then I grabbed a bunch of, they had the uh, Energizer double A's again. So I just grabbed a few of those. Because that's also amazing for a dollar. And that's it on that aisle. Nothing much. Okay. The, hu the, the hugest, that's not a word, Theoni. The biggest section on this table is actually like house type stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it so I can get rid of it. Um, okay. So for my son's party, I wanted to keep everything as sanitary as absolutely possible for obvious reasons. So... I was trying to think of like what food and like I 
I don't feel comfortable like doing anything and I especially don't feel comfortable doing anything that people grab themselves or things of that nature. So that limits your options. So I've decided on sandwiches, all different varieties of sandwiches, um, and I think I'm going to make them. And I will saran wrap them all. I might do half sandwiches so there's no waste and people can grab whatever they want. And I'll like label it. And then I'm going to do cold salads like potato salad, coleslaw, macaroni salad. And I'm going to do those individual as well. Because I don't want anybody scooping anything out. And I already have the individual bags of chips and all of that. And I'll have individual cans and bottles of drinks. So nobody's pouring anything, etc. So going along with that. I got these Betty Crocker Easy Seal, these four count of four fluid ounce cups with lids. So I got like four or five of these. Still don't know who's coming, but whatever. So I'm going to do salads in this and then label the top of what type of salad it is. So we'll put that in the party bag. And then I also got... Because in, in case there is there are kids that come, they're four and they eat less. So I got these. I got these <clears throat> 2.3 fluid ounce, 10 packs of the Sure Fresh. So I just got two packs of these. And at first I had the round ones in my hand and I'm like, oh no, no, wait a second. These are the square ones that I put in the flip boxes from the teaching tree. If you've seen me do that, if you followed me for a while, you know that that's how I store all my sequins and beads and confetti and stuff like that. 12 of these in that box fits perfectly. So I got the square because I'm like, if I don't use them, got my confetti, my confetti boxes. So I got those with the same concept of little things of salad for little ones. Next from the baby section angel of mine now this is all housewares in my opinion in my head this is all housewares just different aisles in the baby section i got two cabinet locks because almost i just threw out four of them because they were all broken these are built differently so i'm hoping this will be better but the last ones i had my husband broke every single one of them and i joked around with him and i told him it's because of his delicate dainty vice grip like fingers they're great for massages though so I'm not complaining but hopefully he won't break these and I just like to have them on what I call the cabinet of death you know the chemicals etc so I got those next I showed these in a walkthrough and my husband's gonna kill me if you guys don't see me for a while and you're wondering where I went it's because my husband killed me for a couple of purchases in this haul, this being one of them. I showed this in the walkthrough. This is the silicone and bamboo new stuff by Cooking Concepts, and I love the gray, and I think it is chic and fancy and expensive looking, so I got this adorable spoon. I love that. I got another spatula, which I do not need. That's the last thing in the kitchen that I need. Is a spatula or a whisk? None ever, no. But I got it. I got one, and then I got these two super cool things. I got the solid little Turner spatula and a slotted Turner spatula, and I think they're awesome. So I got those, and then <clears throat> this. Ooh, it's not good. Then this was a wish list item. Um, this is all my store had was the towels, so I'll wait to see if anything else comes out. But this is the new coffee pattern that I absolutely love, and I showed this in a walkthrough too. It says premium espresso. Uh, oh, I should have gotten another one for my parents for Christmas. All right, I might just give them one of these. Give them one of these. I want to order like a coffee sign for my parents. Um, I want to find like the one that has like all the different drinks on it because my stepfather actually wants one. He wants like the different, like the one that explains like what a macchiato or an Americana or, you know, like that is. I want to get that and that would be cute to pair with that. So I'll share, I'll just give them one of those. Okay, then let me just get these out of the way because they're annoying me. I picked up two packs of the two pack 
of these disposable cookie sheets, they call them, because, all right, we all know it's football season, and wings will destroy your pants like no matter how hard you try it's just not worth the mess so i'm disappointed in myself that it took me this long to think of these and they're a little flimsy so i'll probably just put this in one of my cookie sheets and that way not have to deal with what wings do when they're cooking it took me took me long enough but i took actually my exact words when i showed my husband that i was like yeah he's like nice because he does the dishes too and i was like i'm a little slow on the uptake but i always come through in the clutch and he died laughing but yes i'm late but it's okay next the other thing that uh my husband's gonna kill me for are mugs what are you gonna do what are you gonna do okay so I showed these in a walkthrough. I got a few of these. Got a few of these, one for me, and then for gifts. Look at that. The best therapist has fur and four legs. I love it. And this is the like nicer mug that I, I showed you in the walkthrough. They had all the pet designs in two styles of mugs, the regular mug shaped mug um and then these that just look better and they're the ones that are like wider at the top and slimmer at the bottom and they just look nicer so i i picked these and i think i got three in total because i'm sending one to a friend one is for me then i want to keep one for a present either for my aunt or my mom so we'll see then i saw these now, I did take footage of this as well, which I will tack on to the end of this probably because I'm crazy. We already know this. Look at how nice these are. And this is from Plates and Beyond. So we got this beautiful baby pink glaze on the inside, white with a speckle. They are just gorgeous. And they are stamped. They are stamped in and colored on both sides killing it so they had mom they had queen and they had grandma so the mom is going to be from a mom probably for mother's day i'll save it for mother's day the queen is for me for now for every day yes cheers okay got those then i saw this and this says nothing I don't know what that is. I don't know. But it is black on the inside. And it is just beautiful glaze. It's got a brown around there. Brown around there. And it's tall. It is tall and big. And this is like totally my mom's. Okay, hold on. This is totally my mom's cup of tea. <laughs> I'm tired y'all okay um my mom drinks her tea out of cups like this she prefers like handmade pottery and stuff that she finds at their stores from like the 60s and 70s but sorry this is from Dollar Tree but she's just gonna love it it's 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 so her style so I'll probably just make like a little gift with like tea bags and they have to be decaf decaf tea bags something else and then wrap it in a pretty cellophane with a bow and she'll love that she will absolutely love that She's so easy to please. It's wonderful. Then I picked up this. If these don't stop falling, I swear. Then I picked up this. It took me long enough. I've been seeing it forever. But this wall sticker, the uh, wash your hands and say your prayers, Jesus, because Jesus and germs are everywhere. If you remember about a year ago or more, I made this sign with sticker letters. <sighs> And I put it in a frame, like an 11 by 14 frame. It's cute, but it looks, it's sticker letters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to say anything else about that. Yeah, so it looks a little cheesy. They're a little crooked. You know, you know. So I'm like, I'm just going to redo that sign because I have it hanging in my hallway upstairs. I'm going to redo that sign, probably in the same frame, put it on a nice background and actually have real words. So I'm going to redo that sign. It's going to, old one's going to go in the garbage. It's been a good run. It's fine. 
Then I found this beautiful frame for one of my son's pictures in a Dollar Tree frame. The kickstand broke off. So this is absolutely, look at the truck. I have to, I'm keeping this image for sure to do something else with at some point. But look at how they, it looks like um, distressed metal. It's so pretty. It's, it's plastic, but it, I mean, it's just so pretty. It looks so nice. So this is the eight by 10 with a kickstand or, or hang. Okay. Then I picked up an incense holder because my friend Patty over at Patty's Chance Holes and More um, found Zodiac sign incense. So she got me two and I was thinking for gifts for my friend and my cousin. So I picked those, those Zodiac signs. And then I just picked up a luminescence simple incense holder to pair with that incense for one of my friends, her Zodiac sign of it. So I thought that was cool. Then I found these. I showed these in a walkthrough by Cooking Concepts. This is a 50 count of the larger cupcake papers. In this collection, they had the black and white polka dot. They had red and they had gold. Um, and I also and they had the small, the mini, and the full size. And I said in that in the walkthrough, I was shocked that they were both 50 counts. And I felt like usually you get like less than one but they were both 50 so i just grabbed this because i thought it was it was cute so it make adorable rosettes too in paper crafting so i just got that then i picked up this little golden giraffe trinket dish ring holder because i needed another one because the one that i got somebody got stolen by somebody else sitting right next to them so I'm going to say, and if they're watching, they know who, who it is and what's going on. And if you saw the video, you know who it is and what's going on. Then um, a store I was in had one left of this one. And I was like, you know what? I should probably have this. Two would have been nice, but I only bought four the first time and they have become our daily plates and I absolutely love them. But I was like, I don't have a backup. If my husband with his delicate vice grip fingers that we just mentioned happens to break or chip one, I have no backup. So at least now I have five. Then I picked up this Glade Berry Merry and Bright Limited Edition. It says notes of Merlot, berries, and spice. Where did I just see? Oh, uh, fragrance infused with essential oils. I didn't smell it, so let's see. I don't know what to say about that. Um, there's a note of cinnamon, but it's like a, almost like a cheap bitter berry smell mixed with cinnamon. Mm, that bitter is probably the Merlot. I wouldn't use it in a bathroom. I'm just gonna say that because that would not mix well. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, uh, but it might be nice in your house to freshen up if guests are coming or whatever. Okay, moving on. This was a giant wish list item and I cannot believe I found it. I truly, truly thought it was just not gonna come to our area. And I'm like, this is things that other people get. And I was like, okay with that. But I show the rest of them in the walkthrough footage. So this is Pot Socks by the makers of Book Socks. So these fit, so they're just like book socks. They're like these spandexy, stretchy things. They fit 10 inch pots. So now you can look for a 10 inch cheap pot from Dollar Tree or whatever. Now, and they're indoor, outdoor. Uh, so they had other designs, like I said, I'll show you. But the ones that I got, I was thinking, I don't need to decorate my pots. But what I would like to do once I saw the, the patterns and stuff and why they were on my wish list was to turn cheap pots or other containers, maybe, you know, play around with it, whatever, into things that look really cool for home decor or like a fruit bowl or whatever. So that being said, I definitely, definitely had to have <clears throat> this one. This looks like a basket weave. 
How freaking cool is that? So I got two of the basket weave one. So now you can turn anything into a basket. And if you did put it on an actual terracotta pot, it would have really nice weight to it too. So you wouldn't have to worry about it being flimsy or tipping over if it's a plastic pot. But I thought that was awesome, the basket weave. And then the other one that I really liked was, and I should have gotten two of the other one too, I'm an idiot. But the other one that I really liked was this burlap one. See that? So this looks like a, like a potato sack, like a burlap. Thing. So I was like, this could work. This could be really cool on something as well. And then I just got one of these. Well, because I was like, I'm going to give like two to my mom. So I was trying to think of what she would like. I don't know. But this one, at first I thought it was camo from like afar. But then I'm like, no, wait. They're trying to make it look like a, like a cement pot. You know, like an aged cement pot. So this is pretty cool. So I got, I know my mom will love this one and then I'll give her one of the, either the burlap or the basket, probably burlap, it's more her style. So I'll give her those two in like her Mother's Day package when I give her like bulbs and stuff. All right, so that's that. Sorry, I, I, I'm excited. That's why I talked so long about that. Okay, then this will be the perfect segue to get us into, well, no, hold on. All right. This is kind of fall, but I'm just going to do it. It also in housewares. So I picked this up, the autumn blessings one with the beautiful pumpkins. You even got a Buffalo check one back there. Blessed, grateful, thankful. I love it. So I got that. And then I got, these were a wish list item too. And I, could, I was like, oh my gosh, they're tiny when I saw them in real life. This is Rooms in Bloom, the American Oak Preserving comp Company, assembled in Mexico. Okay. So you have to look on the back in case you never noticed the tag. That is not going to focus. But right there it says pumpkin scented. So you have to, I mean, you can smell it. But if you, it, well, you have a mask on, you can't smell it. So you just look at the it'll say cinnamon or it'll say pumpkin scented so this is how tiny they are but they're they're really pretty and they sure sure do smell like pumpkin so i'm just going to put that in a little display thing okay then this is going to be the last house item which is going to put us into the next category me and my transitions so I picked up three of these Renews It Snuggle Cozy Evergreen for Christmas, just to have, because you gotta be prepared. So I got these, and then that is going to slide us right into Christmas. And to leave you hanging right here at Christmas, we're gonna stop and make sure to check out part two, which I will also be tacking a tiny bit of bonus footage on to the end of. So that's gonna do it for part one, guys. Go ahead and click on part two if you wanted a longer haul. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.